Hello everyone, I'm Dr Ewan McTurk and in this video I'm going to explain the benefits of ChemPower's dynamic power management system, which helps you to get the most out of your electric vehicle charging hub. As most conventional rapid chargers aren't linked to one another, they typically cannot share power between each other. This means that in scenarios where you have several vehicles with different charging capabilities plugged into the charging hub at the same time, some vehicles may not receive their maximum charge power, despite the hub as a whole having spare power capacity. However, the ChemPower EV charging solution from Vital EV Solutions is a connected charging ecosystem, and the dynamic power management system allocates power to where it's needed the most, increasing the charge efficiency and making the best use of your site's power supply. The ChemPower solution is effectively a hub and spoke system, consisting of the power unit, which acts as the CPU, and multiple satellite chargers. The satellite charger has a compact footprint, similar to an A4 sheet of paper, and is capable of ultra-rapid charging speeds of up to 400 kilowatts. The power unit, meanwhile, features 12 50 kilowatt power modules, providing power from 50 kilowatts to 600 kilowatts. Each power module can further split its power into two 25 kilowatt allocations, and assign them to different satellite chargers meaning that there are up to 24 lots of 25 kilowatt power allocations in total. The dynamic power management system assigns those 25 kilowatt power allocations to where they're needed the most. For example, let's take a charging hub with a 400 kilowatt power unit, with 16 lots of 25 kilowatt power allocations, and two dual port satellite chargers providing charging across four EV bays. Along comes a Nissan Leaf, capable of taking a 50 kilowatt charge and a Kia Niro EV, capable of taking a 77 kilowatt charge, and two Audi e-trons, both capable of taking a 125 kilowatt charge. With conventional rapid chargers, which are standalone units that don't share power modules, this would result in the e-trons each receiving 25 kilowatts less than they have requested, despite the chargers charging the Niro EV and the Leaf having 23 and 50 kilowatts spare capacity respectively. For conventional rapid chargers that are able to share or split their power modules between two vehicles, this is typically done in a 50-50 split, regardless of the power requested by each vehicle. So even if one e-tron shared the paired charger with a Leaf, and the other with the Niro EV, they would still not be able to receive their full requested charging power despite the other EV not making anywhere near full use of its allocated power. In contrast, when these vehicles are charged at a chem power charging hub, the dynamic power management system looks at the power that's requested by each vehicle, the number of power modules available in the power unit, and allocates those power modules to where they're needed the most. So, out of the 16 25 kilowatt allocations in the power unit, the Nissan Leaf is assigned two allocations, the Nero EV four, and each e-tron gets five, meaning that all vehicles can charge at their maximum power. Dynamic power management also intelligently diverts spare charging power from vehicles that no longer need it to vehicles that do, via the reallocation of its power modules. This means that if the Leaf was replaced by a Volkswagen ID3 that can charge at 100 kilowatts, the ChemPower system would allocate the Leaf's two power modules to it, plus the fourth power module from the Nero EV, since the ID3 would make full use of it whilst the Nero EV was only using two kilowatts from it, thus maxing out and making the most efficient use of the site's power supply. Similarly, if one of the e-tron's charging power starts to taper off as its battery charges up and falls below 100 kilowatts, the ChemPower system will reassign one of the e-tron's modules to the ID3 to give it its full requested charging power and get them back on the road quicker. There's another neat advantage to the ChemPower solution from Vital EV Solutions. Say that a DC power module failed in a conventional rapid charger. Depending on the design, this could either reduce the charger's maximum output or even put the whole system out of action. Take the following scenario at a conventional charging hub. A Kia Niro EV and Nissan Leaf are charging on high power chargers, with an Ionic 5 pulling 150 kilowatts from a third charger. A DC power module fails in the charger that's charging the Ionic 5. This reduces the Ionic 5's charging power to 125 kilowatts, despite the vehicle being capable of charging at 150 kilowatts, and despite there being a 173 kilowatt power surplus between the two other chargers at the hub. Conversely, with the chem power system, should one of its DC power modules fail, the power unit simply won't assign it to any of the satellite chargers. 
Therefore, in the same scenario as before, if a DC power module fails, another one is assigned to take its place, so no vehicles have their charging power compromised by the faulty power module. Furthermore, all satellite chargers are still technically capable of delivering their maximum power, since the faulty power module isn't built into, or permanently assigned to, one satellite charger. So the charging power of EVs only starts to become compromised once all working power modules have been assigned to vehicles on charge. So, having looked into how the ChemPower solution from Vital EV Solutions works and how its clever electron juggling helps to improve charging times, charger reliability and the efficiency of the use of the site's power supply, I think it's fair to say that charging hubs and depots that use this solution are quite possibly the smartest charging hubs in the UK today. 